Hello and welcome to program 42 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not familiar with uh, our website, which is markplex.com, then please feel free to visit and there you'll find a lot of free tutorials and programs. Program 42 is an indicator that looks for positive divergence between price and an RSI. Now the RSI that you have a choice via user inputs, whether you actually use RSI or a smoothed version of RSI. And the way the program works is each time a pivot is found, either in price or in RSI, then the program will check and see if a pivot occurred in the whichever one it wasn't within a certain user tolerance of bars. So for example, to explain that a little bit more clearly, if we find a pivot in price, the program looks to see if a pivot has occurred in the RSI within a certain number of bars. That's done by user input. If it has, it stores that value or those values in an array. Actually, what it stores is the bar number and also the value of the price and the value of the RSI. And then what it does is it compares that new pivot with all the pivots previously stored in this array. And this array, you can define the size anything from one to five. And if it finds divergence, it then draws lines on the chart. Uh, it will also work with radar screen and the scanner. So for example, if a pivot is found and uh, if we just go to radar screen and uh, you'll see here, that uh, appears that we have some pivots that have occurred recently. I've linked this to a chart. So for example, if we were to click on ANR, Alpha Natural Resources Inc. And uh, what we should then see is there will be a chart and we should see a divergence. Now bear in mind that we need a few bars to the right of the most recent pivot in order to confirm that that pivot has occurred. But one thing that I've done in this program is I've made it so that you can have different requirements for right and left strength for previous pivots and for the most recent one. So what the program does, it will only store the pivot in the array if you use the right and left strength as set up in the user inputs. But what it does is it gives you the opportunity of making the right strength lower for the most recent pivot. Now you might wanna do this, for example, if you wanted to set an early warning. So for example, in this particular instance, if we were to go to the inputs and uh, just have a look here, you'll see that I've got left strength and right strength set to three and two. I've also got right strength two set to two. But if I wanted early warning, I could say, well, for the most recent pivot, what I want to do is make this one because I want to just get an early warning that a divergence has occurred. In fact, what you could do is apply the program to the chart actually twice so that you could see both the early warning and the uh, the later and you could change the colors of those lines accordingly. You'll also notice here that they've got some uh, got some dots. What I've done is created a companion show me study which goes with this program and uh, that draws show me dots on the chart as opposed to drawing the lines. Okay, so let's just go through the user inputs and explain those in a little more detail. Okay, so I mentioned the maximum array size. This can be anything from one to five, and this determines how many historic pivots you store in the array. RSI price, this is the value used in the RSI calculation. You could make it C for close, or L, or high, uh, L for low, or high, uh, or, or a calculation. For example, high plus low divided by two. Then RSI uh, length one and RSI length two, uh, go into the RSI calculations. RSI length two is used in the smooth calculation. And the smooth calculation is done using an exponential moving average of the RSI. Now, which RSI determines whether you use the smoothed or the other one? So if you want to just use your RSI, you'd set this to one. If you wanted to use the smooth version, then you'd set that to two. Now, price L determines the price that we use for low pivots. In this case, I've got it set for low. And price H, the price that we use for high pivots in price. And I've got that set to H for high. Lower color and upper color. This determines the color of the lines. And then line size. This determines how thick the lines are drawn on the chart. Now, left strength and right strength. These determine the number of 
bars to the left or right of a pivot that are required for that pivot to be deemed as a pivot. And these determine the values of the pivot stored in the array. Now, right strength two, this allows you for the most recent pivot to set this to a lower value and it is assumed that right strength 2 is lower or equal to right strength, thereby giving yourself an early warning that a pivot may be, or rather that a divergence may be about to occur. The, the number of bars between a pivot in the price and a pivot in the RSA has to be less than this value. So what I'm going to do is make this program available and I'm also going to include the show me study as a bonus. Uh, the inputs are very similar for the show me study, um, only the lower and upper color now determine the show me dots draw, drawn on the chart. Otherwise, most of the other inputs are exactly the same. OK, so I hope you'll find uh, this program useful and uh, it is unprotected so you can have a look and uh, analyze the program yourself, see how it works. And you can also, if you wish, modify it. Anyway, thank you very much.